Hey there YouTube, this is Logan's Homestead here and today I'm going to show y'all how to make lacy cornbread which is a thin cornbread um, it's uh, it's a southern cornbread it's not like the uh, sweet cornbread that you would bake in the oven this is what you cook on top of your stove in some canola oil and uh, and uh, this is what we'll do. Uh, most of y'all, if y'all in the south, y'all probably know how to, you probably know how to cook this. But I know some people around here that not, you know, don't really know how to cook it. Uh, one person in particular. So I'm gonna do this video for those of you who don't know how. This is not a recipe, but it's just a little, heavy kind of experiment back in tea. We have first off, you want to go ahead and get you a little bit of oil on the stove. I'll come over here and show y'all. Turn this stove light on. It's already hot because I had it on eight. If you're on an electric or gas stove, not a wood stove, put it on about eight. And uh, But now I got it on four because it's already hot. I'm just trying to uh, keep it hot. Once you get it pretty hot, you want it on four or five while you're cooking your cornbread. Now back over here, we have our cornmeal. This is just, it's just at our local grocery store, uh, Watkins Old Fashioned Stone Ground Cornmeal. Not sure if they sell it everywhere, but they do in Georgia. It's in, uh, it's in a meal in Wrens, Georgia. I ain't ever seen the meal, but that's that. You want some plain white cornmeal. I'm sure you could use yellow, but we always use white, and it always seems to work good for us. So you got that, you want that. I ain't got much in this bowl. I don't know how much I got, probably about a cup. Got me a little whisk. This hooks onto a mixer, but it's the shortest thing I got. I want you plenty of water. You want it about half and half, I can say. And it's the only ingredient besides salt. You'll want to salt it. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this mixed up. I just pour a little bit of water to start with. And then you kind of experiment back into with the batter. Uh, get it to the right consistency um, that's, that's all two ingredient you know minus the salt that the oil's in your frying pan and you just get your cast iron skillet I'm sure you could do it in something else but that's just what we've always used um, this here's a little bit thick because I want it thin with holes in it and the first piece is not going to be the best you want your second pieces you don't want your first piece or your last piece you nibble on it. You don't want that to go with your purple hole peas because it's not crispy. And uh, our dinner today is going to be simple. It's about probably close to 2 o'clock. It's late. But um, we had some other stuff we had to get done this morning. That's about the consistency you want it right there. You want it thin but not too not too watery. That's about how you want it, okay? Um, I don't know what consistency you call that, but you can kind of tell. And uh, I'm going to put me some salt in here. So, just hang tight right here while I get the salt. Uh, there you go. You can focus on the corn, cornbread mix stuff. I don't know how to get my stuff before I start a video. So, I got my salt now. You zoom out so I don't make you sick. Um... Okay, you got it to the right consistency, and that oil is getting hot on that stove, let me tell you. So, I'm going to go ahead and um, add me a little bit of salt in here. You want your good bit of salt because you, know, you want it to be salty. If you don't like salt, leave it out. It's just the two of us here today, so I'm not going to cook much cornbread, or just going to eat cornbread. Uh, I can bring it over here to the stove. It's very simple to make. I'm just going to pour, once I get the, uh, once I get the, uh, oil in the middle, I'm just going to pour it in, let me get my spatula. I got the purple hull peas from my garden, um, last year's garden, we canned them up in pint jars, and, uh, got those cooking, I got some pork tenderloin in the oven, it's going to be a very good homestead dinner. That's about how much oil you want. A little bit less as you're cooking. That's why I say the first piece is not your best piece. 
see if it's hot there. There you go. It's a little bit thicker than what I like, but that'll be a good consistency cornbread. See, I've got the holes coming in it. That's going to be some good cornbread. Um, the first piece is not good because it absorbs all the oil. But uh, we'll be back with you whenever we get ready to flip it. It's on four to five right now, about medium. So uh, we'll let it cook a little bit longer. It won't take but a few minutes. Just get enough brown on one side, then you flip it over brown on the other. But we'll be back. Okay, here's the piece of cornbread that I'm flipping. It's got a little bit of brown around the edges. We'll see how it does. I've already loosened it up because um, I didn't want to have to have to hold the camera in one hand. See how it's got holes in it? This is another piece. Like I said, the first piece don't ever turn out right. Um, that's why you need to have your plate like this. Uh, so the chickens. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip this here. Okay, there it is. Since I got a little bit of oil left around the pan, I'm just going to go ahead and put some of that oil up under it and let it finish cooking out. And then it won't take many more minutes and it'll be cooked. And uh, I'll get into another piece on, but that's about all there is to cooking cornbread. You want it brown on both sides, and you know, we got our tenderloin right there in the oven. Whoop! Steam. We got seasoned and non seasoned. Got purple whole peas. Good old lacy cornbread. So, all right, YouTube. Thanks for watching. As always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. God bless y'all, and y'all come back now here.